but now the fun part too, let's talk about, let's flip it over on the other side and talk about a make or two and, and something you took from that. So let's go same order. Ravi, we'll have you go first. Yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll stick with my Red Bull theme because I'm feeling energized right now and <laughs> want to use that as our example. Um, so I'll preface it with, like I said earlier, I, I'm, a, I'm a team guy. It's all about building the right team, the right group of people to, to move the ball in the same direction and really accomplish things. So I want to preface it that way. Um, one, of, one of the things that I'm super proud of was, uh, again, at a time at Red Bull, one of the missions of the company is to give wings to ideas for give give wings that's the the, the tagline um, to athletes and ideas so we, we we've got some of the best athletes in the world 350 of them at the time and one specific athlete his name is Travis Pastrana famous motocross motorcycle guy and action sports legend well we came up with a concept with him to set world records in multiple disciplines so we, we called it we did it at different times but we built a, a project around that over multiple years. So we were able to work with the best athlete in the world to envision what he could draw on the back of a napkin and change the world. So not just a world record, but something that would be in passion and, and record setting for him and really part of his moonshot and his legacy. So we got to do years and years of moonshots with these type of athletes. And one year um, he was able to jump a motorcycle further than anybody else. One year he jumped over the bay in a rally car. One year he did it in parallel with someone um, on a snowmobile, and we were able to take that property to other athletes. So pr pretty, pretty lucky, but pretty uh, also something that I really enjoy. As Perry said, as a hero, hero maker, these are those moonshots and moments that really get me going. These are my my go tos, and um, yeah, but they're still happening today. And you know, the phone still rings, and we we chuckle about things even even now. So pretty pumped about some of those makes. Oh, fantastic! And Perry, how about you? Okay, so I got two for you. Um, the first was when I sold limited snowboards. And the reason why is because it was validation for me. That was my first real serious success, real money. Um, and being able to sell it, you know, someone else bought in, you know, it wasn't just my own imagination. And um, <clears throat> so that was a, that was a, a sort of a, a strong make for me in my career. But I think one that I'm the most proud of, uh, and it's a little more recent is um, that my superpower is the ability to see the greatest potential in things and people and stuff. So I can look at pretty much anything and see the best version of it. And I've been, uh, I now live in Toronto, but uh, recently moved here from Costa Rica, which I, where I've been for quite a while. Costa Rica is famous for its beaches and its, you know, tropics and it's all this stuff. And believe it or not, there's no national lifeguard program, which is uh, frankly negligent. And in my community, we are seeing a lot of deaths, uh, both locals and tourists alike. I surf, I moved there originally to be in the ocean and, and be part of that community. I started lifeguarding with some other guys and uh, quickly started to see what was needed. Anyway, the upshot of all of this is it took five years, but over the course of five years, uh, we created the first legal lifeguard association in the country. Uh, we got, uh, you know, U.S. ambassador behind it. We managed to get a whole bunch of, you know, connect a whole bunch of dots, all to culminate in um, a law being passed for the first time in the country that there is a line item in all municipal budgets for lifeguarding where it's appropriate. Um, so that's a really big deal. And to me, even more important than that is that we created the model for uh, public-private social enterprise. And I don't mean to throw a lot of uh, jargon around. But it doesn't happen if you don't package it up with a big bow and make it easy for everybody, especially when you're dealing with government and bureaucrats. So we created it. We made this. We started the first grassroots organization. We developed the curriculum. We went to the Coast Guard and said, will you do a training program with us and make it certifiable so we have your stamp, you know, Coast Guards. And then we went to the firemen and we went to the police and we went to all these other government run type agencies and created the thing that everyone could rally around and use. So that's what I mean by it's public, it's private. In this case, it was nonprofit, it's social enterprise, but we created the model for that. And I'm super, super proud of it. 